Hello, my name is Dr. Patricia Gans. I'm director of the Division of Cancer Prevention and Control Research at UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center. I'd like to spend a few minutes with you telling you about some of the things that you can do to prevent cancer. In our lifetime, it's possible that we'll see a dramatic reduction in the risk for developing cancer across all ages. And there are a number of simple health and behaviors that we can follow that will help us accomplish that. Maintaining our weight and not gaining weight across the lifetime is absolutely critical. We know for a number of cancers, such as breast, colon, and prostate cancer, which are leading cancers in men and women, that gaining weight over the lifetime plays a significant role in their development. Just think, if each of us is gaining one or two pounds per year, then over a decade, we'll be 20 pounds heavier. So if you can just watch your weight and not gain those one or two pounds each year, you're going to be 20 pounds thinner 10 years later. And think of what a difference that'll make across uh, the population if we can achieve this. Importantly, watching our children, helping them follow healthy diets, not becoming overweight in the future will lead to a dramatic reduction in the development of cancer. Now, how do we do this? Eating right is very important. There is no specific cancer prevention diet, but watching the amount of fats that we eat and eating more fruits and vegetables, as well as exercising regularly, will help you manage your weight and, and help your energy balance. In addition, that we know that physical activity may play an important role in reducing the risk of breast and colorectal cancers, again, very, very common cancers. Now, other things that we know are critical are avoiding smoking or any tobacco products. We've known for a long time about the risk of lung cancer, but it's not only lung cancer that tobacco products cause, it's other cancers of the upper aerodigestive passages, the mouth, the throat, the esophagus, the pancreas, as well as the bladder. So all of these cancers are very serious and can be almost completely avoided if you don't use tobacco products. Other things that are critical are staying out of the sun, avoiding sunburns, something that's important for you, but also for your children. It's often that sunburn that we get when we're four or five years old that many years later can lead to the development of the serious skin cancer, melanoma. So staying out of the sun during midday, wearing protective clothing, using sunblock, these are all important health habits that we can all start today. Other things that we know that may be useful are avoiding regular uh, alcohol consumption. And again, alcohol is something that we may enjoy as part of our social occasions and celebrations, and that's something that we can all participate in. But drinking every day several glasses of wine or hard liquor may contribute to the development of cancers of the mouth and throat, and importantly, the common disease, breast cancer. This is one of the few things that I can advise women in terms of reducing their risk of breast cancer. Other things that are important uh, for you are to go for regular screenings. We know that there are a number of cancers that we can actually prevent by having regular examinations. For example, having a pap smear or other tests to detect cervical cancer can pick up precancerous changes in the cervix that can be removed and they'll never go on to develop cancer. In addition, colon cancers we know are formed from early growths in the colon that are called polyps. These can be seen early on examinations of the colon through either sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy. And when we remove them, they will not grow into cancers in the future. And we have already begun to see, see a decline in the development of colon cancer in our country because of this, but far too few people are actually getting their colon cancer examinations. So another important thing for you to think about. These are all factors that we need to have disseminated across the population. They become part of our health habits and our lifestyle and contribute also to preventing the development of diabetes and heart disease, which are other serious chronic illnesses. So you essentially get three for one when you begin to follow some of these health habits. Although one and a half million individuals will be diagnosed with cancer this year, 
Many more are at risk for the disease and will never develop it, particularly if they can follow some of the health habits I've talked about today, as well as participate in regular screening. I want to see a world without cancer. It's never too late to adopt some of these important health habits.